25th. Getting ready to head back up to the campsite. Excuse me. I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. And these chemtrails, boy, they're just flying them everywhere. Let me tell you something. They're not... They're... What they're doing is dumping poison down on everybody. They're getting ready to slaughter everybody. Taking everybody to the slaughter. This is about souls. It's not about being afraid either. See, we've been separated. We see what's happening. We see the truth. Many people don't because the truth isn't in them. And, uh... We see, but they don't, because we've been separated, and uh, we've been chosen, okay? Don't think that these chemtrails are, are doing anything for our ozone, because they're not. There ain't no way. I can see what they're putting out, and I can see how it's dispersing, coming down. And it's being done over populations where people are. What they're, I believe these chemicals, because when I'm talking to people, man, it's like they're all dummied down. They don't even know what's going on. And I can see these other clouds, how they're like being stretched apart, like birth pains. I didn't even see what the earthquake report is. I'm sure it's high already. I'll check it out later, but uh, check it out, see what it is. You know, because I mean, I can say it, but it's always good to check it out now and then. But another thing, a lot of people are reporting about other nations, what's going on, like they're getting ready to attack us or whatever. I wouldn't even be afraid of that. Another thing, we're getting a lot more attacks because people are uh, going to start speaking against us negatively, evil, uh, putting us down, making us look like we're bad people. Um, I've been showing this photo of the angel for a long time. Okay, I've had a lot of attacks against me probably because of this. Okay, they literally, you know, drove me out of business, out of everything. But that's the price. You know, when you're called, the Bible clearly says you better get out there and sound that trumpet. And let me tell you, I haven't seen too many people out there sounding that trumpet like this. I haven't even seen it other than they say they're called. But what they're doing is they're preaching more fear about what China's doing, what Russia's doing. Man, the Word of God tells me that God said He's going to turn your enemies against you, just like He did Israel. When you turn away from the Lord, it's wrath that's coming. You can't look for some blessings to come. This is all about souls, okay? We don't have to worry about that either. I just want to make sure that you understand these demons that are hosting people, they're in the White House, they're in the phone companies, they're on your news channels. They're not going to tell you the truth, but there'll be signs put out in front of everybody because they will have been warned, okay? Now these chemicals are dumping. I believe it's dummying down a lot of people, but I don't think that it can dummy us all down, especially those that have been chosen by the Lord, those that are faithful, okay? Because it says in... Uh, Revelation 17, 18, when we come back with the Lord, it's the chosen and the faithful. And we've been separated. He said, I'm going to bring a sword to divide you. We've been separated, okay, for the harvest. This is the harvest that's at hand. We're getting ready to go home. Look at this thing. Somebody help me out with this thing. This thing right here is making it possible for me to load up on YouTube. You know, even though I've got wicked stuff, people coming against me, trying to belittle me or make me feel less than, I've got people out there. That's the way the Lord is. The Lord said, he'll make your enemies bless you. He's in control. They ain't. Remember that. And I've had people help me and I ain't coming against them because they're the ones that are making that choice. When they come against you, you know who they are. Just don't fight with them. Mute their conversation. Stop, cons stop all association with them. 
because if they're not for you, they're against you. That's important to remember that, yeah? And uh, remember, stay focused on Jesus Christ. Because remember this, we, as individuals, we wouldn't make it. We couldn't make it. It's only by the blood of Christ that we uh, can make it when we're seen without a spot or blemish because of the blood of Christ. We wouldn't make it any other way. That dream where I had that father kissed me on my forehead, he had blood on his lips. That was because of the blood of Christ. And the love he had in his face for me, but it was because of the blood of Christ. And you notice how they took Jesus Christ out of our schools, our government, and uh, everything here. And most people here don't even see it because they're under strong delusion. And they, you know, basically they're in a lot of trouble. Okay? And we need to know the difference about that. You need to know why. Okay? And know that we've been separated. We're getting ready to go home. We don't know that day or hour, but we do know the season, and we know it's any time now. Is it going to be by the end of this month? I don't know. It could be in the middle of next month. I don't know. But I know it's at hand, and it's any time. I know even though the devil blacklisted me trying to make me look bad and everything else, I had a business, man. Who would walk away from that? It was destroyed by the devil because I didn't take his little offer. You know? They'll try to bribe you. I didn't take it. So, but look it, I've made it this far, even after three years. I lived in my shop for two years, yeah, I was barely making it. Sleeping in my truck for 11 months, yeah, it was rough. But I still got through it. And I'm going to tell you something else, these last two, three months, I've had more people coming at me and help me financially, and even sending me this, where, you know, because I was having a hard time doing the videos. I mean, look. This is the way the Holy Spirit works in each other. See, the Holy Spirit, the good stuff will dwell with us just like the demons will dwell with the others. Okay? They don't want us here no more. They want us to leave. They say, we don't belong. We don't blend. Remember it says in the end days, iron and clay will try to blend. And he says, no more than iron and clay blends, he's going to cast a rock at their feet and scatter them. That's why I said, read Psalms 92, man. We're getting ready. And we'll be coming back with the Lord. Okay? Rejoice. Rejoice. You know? And we have tried to reach out and tried to wake people up. That's what these channels are for, too. But some of these people aren't going to be woke up. Okay? And we don't hate these people. The reason why I show you that demonic spirit hosting people... Because I want you to know, it's not the people, you know? You may not like what somebody's doing, but it, you can't hate that person or dislike that person. That person has no control over their body, their flesh. They're like a puppet. That's why I'm trying to explain to you. It, it's what's in them that you don't like. Okay, it's not them as an individual. I mean, God bless them. They, they basically, they lost their soul is what happened. That's what happened. Okay, so how could you hate somebody for that? I don't. I don't hate anybody for that. So if people are coming against you right now and they're not comforting you and they're trying to send you ill messages that are, you know, making you feel less than, that's not of the Lord, okay? I don't go after anybody trying to give anybody any bad messages, make them feel worse than, you know, but when they come against me like that, I know who they are, you know, I know who it is that's hosting them. It's not them as an individual. See, I walk by, drive by now and they just, <laughs> they know, they know this truck, my rap that's on it, you know. I miss the work that I used to do, but the Lord's, you know, he's had this work for me to do, and this is different for me, you know, I mean, you know, I, I would have never have thought that I would have been called for this, you know, who would have ever dreamed that they'd be called for something like this, you know, I never dreamed it, but it says in the Bible, if you're called, you better get to work, you know, 
And I always show these demons here too, okay? Because these things are hosting people. And that's why I'm telling you, don't hate the individual, okay? Because that's what the devil wants you to do. If anything, say, God bless them, man. God bless you. Kick the dirt off your feet. Walk. Take your peace with you, okay? Because they're trying to take your peace away. Keep your peace, okay? Be cleansed by the blood of Christ. And just, you know, say, I forgive you and God bless you and... Yeah, you know, hopefully, hopefully, you know, after we're gone, they won't take the mark of the beast. Who knows? Who knows what they'll do? That's why I've been telling people now, we're so close to getting ready to go. If you're aware of what's going on, this is high time to let it go. Let it go. Don't be following it. Don't be doing what everybody else is doing. Let it go. I mean, how bad do you got to have this worldly stuff? You got to have it that bad where you just can't let it go and you got to keep making that money, huh? You know, the Lord will provide. I mean, look, I, you know, it's not the best, but my gosh, if you had enough money to camp out for the next year, whatever, six months or three months, two months, uh, I'd quit what I, I'd quit and get away from that stuff. I'd definitely quit and get away from it while you could. I, I would highly recommend it, you know, highly. Look at that, from there it took me almost 12 minutes to get back here. You know, but I'm looking at this over here, man. It's like a mud puddle out there now, man. I could see the waves from the lake over there washing up here, but it stops right there to where in front of my tent. It's almost like a, uh, you know, it's over. It's definitely over here, man. I gotta walk down there to show it to you. It is over. Let me walk out here to show it to you. You know, before, I mean, you can even see where the, uh, the pollen and stuff is like building up here. This water, I mean, it's sucking up like a sponge. Wait till you see it. It's unreal. Yep. Look at this, look. That used to be all water, now it's all muddy. It's all muddy. See here? You can see it. This used to be all water in here. Ain't that something? You can see in the middle out there where there's water still coming in to the lake. You know, from this river, like or this what used to be like this is even drying up here too, you know? It's not as big and deep as it used to be because the water's drying up. You know? And for water to still be trickling in here and the lake to still be draining like this. I mean, that's a loud statement right there in itself. You see what I'm saying? This is what's getting ready to happen. Yeah, I had a dream about that too. I, I was at a lake where it turned muddy. And that's what it's doing right now. You know? Then I'm seeing these harvest signs. You know? That's why I say it's important, man, to get Christ in your heart. Be cleansed and bathed by the blood of Christ, man. Have because we can't make it any other way. We're, we're full of spots and blemishes because of, we're born in sin. The devil wants to keep you in it too. That's why they'll send you little m remarks and ugly things. They'll say ugly things about you. They try to get you uh, to feel less than. You know what I mean? Don't let them. Don't let them do it. You know, don't let them take your peace. And don't hate them either, you know. I don't hate these people. But I know what they're doing. That's why I wanted to show you what they are, you know. They're demonic spirits. 
That's what they are. That's why I show that, because I want you to know what it is that you're messing with, okay? That's the reason why I've got an angel blowing a trumpet above my head, and at the end of that trumpet you see a white horse and a bathtub above it, because the bathtub represents, but we're going to get washed by the blood of Christ, okay? The Son of God. You remember when uh, God took Abraham and he said, I want you to sacrifice your son to me? And he was like, oh, Lord, you know, that was asking him a lot, but he was going to do it. He was going to do it because the Lord asked me to go stop. And that's why he did what he did for us. He gave up his only begotten son because of what Abraham, the father Abraham was going to do. Okay. And therefore, God sent his son to uh, redeem us from our sins, from Adam and Eve when they bit into that apple, man. And to separate us from the devil. So the devil's going to have a great portion of people, you know, that chose, you know, because this is all a choice. Just like we've been chosen by Christ because he knows our minds and our hearts. And a lot of us are being spiritually attacked. Where a lot of people, most people aren't being attacked, okay? When you get these attacks and say they might be stinking, thinking, perverted, even like thoughts, but you're rebuking them, you're, you're, you're standing against them, and you're repenting to Christ all the time. And See, Jesus knows the flesh and blood. The devil's going to constantly be coming at you because of the flesh and blood. He can't do that to our spirit. That's why we have the word of God. Which, which builds our spirit up, okay? That's food for our spirit. And we're, you know, we're, we got Christ so much in our spirit, he can't touch our spirit, but they can the flesh. But if you got enough of your spirit built up to where you're living more spiritual than worldly, then the devil can't touch you. You know what I mean? He could send you some bad stinking thinking thoughts in a little bit, but they're just, they get littler and littler and littler. Because your spirit, you're building your spirit. And that's what we're doing now. We're preparing ourselves. And then Jesus says, we'll be coming back with him in the end times, okay? We're going to come back with him. And uh, we're going to, uh, we're going to be uh, seeing all these demons and stuff cast into the uh, pit. See, here's where you see a spirit looking down on the earth. These are the good spirits, okay? They're looking down on the earth because they've been blaspheming against God. They've been speaking blasphemy. See, most people aren't going to make it. You see the rainbows in the cheek of the face? The rainbow sits around God's throne, not on a homosexual's flag, okay? And if you know homosexuals and, you know, I don't hang out with homosexual people. If they're living in sin, I don't have anything to do with them. But if they repent and they stop sinning, then yes, by all means, I'll help them. I'll encourage them. I'll try talking to them, getting them through it, you know, because we're to encourage one another. But if they're still living in sin, you know, I'm not going to hang out with somebody that's cheating on their wife or their wife cheating on their husband. You know what I mean? I'm not going to hang out with somebody's wife while the husband's at work either. You know, you, you, you have to do what's right in the, in the eyes of God. Okay. And, and you got to live it daily. I mean, daily. You can't just do it on Sunday. And if you hang out with perverted people that are living in that lifestyle and you accept it, you can't hold hands with the devil and God. You just can't do it. That's the reason why everything's so perverted today because people have accepted what's an abomination to God. Okay. You can't do it, you know? A lot of these people heading in the same direction. I've been telling everybody, let it go, man. Let it go. I've talked to some people that said, man, I got out of business, sold it all, man. I'm ready to go, man, because they know what time it is. And they're not trying to compete in this world where, you know, people are cheating. You know, they're having to cheat just to compete. Uh, it's gotten worse. I've even talked to some of these immigrants that came here illegally that rushed in here to get work doing whatever they could do to get it. And I've told them, showed them these same signs. I said, this is all evil, man. Be careful. They're after your soul. And you rushed into a place. Your nation knows this. Your leaders know that this nation is about to be destroyed. 
and uh, all these people rushing into all these nations, these are melting pots. These are going to be destroyed by nuclear weapons. They're going to be destroyed by fire. And these people rushing here for what? For the worldly things. And these are going to be destroyed. They know it. This is all about souls, okay? And this is the end time. The devil knows it. He's got little time left. That's why they're coming against me hardcore, speaking against me. They don't want me getting this message out. I could care less about Russia attacking this place because God's putting it in their heart to do it. You know, I'm not going to waste 10, 15 minutes talking about that. I, why? You know, China, Russia, all of them, they're going to come against you. God said he'll turn your enemies against you.